How we doing guys? Welcome back. So, we uh, have a demon prince on our uh, lovely deck. Although we can't talk to him, bit of a disappointment now. Uh, but yeah, we are now officially in the race to endgame. Um, we do have quite a bit till, where is it, down here. So 36 days, we're going to have, what, Grandmaster of Port, all these guys coming back from assignment, probably going to have to deal some wounded. We are kicking up our re uh, research rate. If you're playing with the frigate, that's probably really advisable, something I wish I'd kind of done earlier, but uh, we were getting a lot of upgrades earlier on. So, not much to do other than wait for the next bloom spawn. This is still ticking off, so we have a little bit, but... Essentially, the only planet I really have to worry about now is that one. So my plan is to hold maybe here, send the frigate to a mission over this way. Hopefully there's a mission here, somewhere, and essentially do doop, and then wherever it ends up over here. I don't think it's going to spawn on that one again. That's quite rare that it does the same planet twice in a row, but ah, what can you do? I mean, actually, it would be kind of good if it did, because then we could deal with the problem there and then, but yeah, it, it's so rare that that happens. But other than that, the galaxy, uh, the sector is in a decent-ish shape. A couple of warp storms hanging around, but we can't really do anything about them. Oop -a -doop. Okay, there's the, uh, what's this about? <laughs> Make full recoveries in at least 72% of the remaining fruit will no doubt be pleased to continue over the stasis chamber. Okay. First time I've really read that sort of thing. So we could repair the Libris. Um, that does massively boost our research rate. So that would get us into the end game quicker. The alternative would be further upgrades on that. Which, I mean, is good for going into the long game, but it's not that important right now. So I'm going to kick off and get the Libris repaired at least. Meanwhile, we wait for the presumable next mission. There they are. Okay, two over there, one there. That one's only a one. So, we could just throw stuff at it. Doesn't really matter who we send. But, uh, I do have to worry about people getting wounded now, don't I? You do get experience for these, but it's a bit janky on how much experience each person gets. So I might just send this squad again. Because it's massively overpowering the thing and saves us time in the episode. So we'll do that. And then uh, we've got more time to get to that one. Because that one's prognostica bonus is taken out by the warp storm. So hopefully we can go to that one and then to that one. But we'll have to see. We probably have a Grandmaster report on the way. So, yeah, I'll deal with that as we go. Oh, ship event first. Transmission priority Alpha Zeta 16. Magos Dominus, we have located an uncatalogued relic of the machine god in this sector. Preliminary analysis gives a minimum age of 8,260. Heretic Astartes have been detected searching for this sacred archaeotect. You must retrieve it immediately. Priority maximum. Obstacle. The edict cannot effect timely recovery. Resolution. The pious absolution will soon pass near the transmitted coordinates. We can send an emergency directive to divert course, but we rarely benefit from knowing where our enemies are headed. Can we not use this Archaeotech to lure the traitors into an ambush? It will be a feat worthy of the Annals of Titan. Assessment. Reckless. Hmm. Okay, so I assume this is more of the, uh... Um... Duty Eternal storyline. Hmm. We aren't particularly bothered about the quest we were sending them on. And they are a good unit. The problem is they might all get wounded or even critically wounded on because of who we sent. So let's... Uh, it's a case of, do we want to kill the Astartes or get the artifact? Hmm. I'll be honest, 
I'm more concerned about the Archaeotech than killing the Plague Marines, so let's go with that one. Such ancient relics are irreplaceable. Deployment terminated, plus three Archaeotech, plus a bunch of construction speed. That's actually good, because that gets the research rate back up. But I presume that took out... Yeah, that took out that, but that means... Okay, so it's coming back. That's actually okay. Because that means they can get wound recovery later and they all didn't get wounds. This was only a one corruption mission that was never going to be that important. But we made it here. Which means we can do the mission and then I can sort out the Remass report as I usually do. So, yeah, let's see what we've got here. So three units. I didn't actually read any of this stuff. I probably should have, but it was pretty self-evident where I was going. So I kind of left it for a bit. So, let's have a look. See, we can definitely do it with three units. It's going to be hard, but it's a case of who do we send in. So we ditch the paladin. Actually, do we want to ditch the paladin? Do I think I can kill this with three units? I think I can. This is reckless. But here's what the plan is. So, get rid of the tech marine because he's the least valuable of the lot. I could swap the Paladin out for one of the Justicars. Uh, any of this slot would be fine. Uh, the only advantage of that is it would mean I would have a lot more to put on the Interceptor, but my plan is to just, you know, stun grenade everyone and murder them. So, hmm, just debating. Do we need the Purgator? Because the Purgator has less flexibility than a Justicar. car. But comes with more grenades. We'll stick with the Purgator. That's what I've decided. Uh, as for this, swap these out. So swap those around. The plus two AP is... Actually, Gate Infinity is worth less as well. Because with this many knights, Gate Infinity gets less value. Particularly since you could buff up the Interceptor and essentially do Gate of Infinity anyway. So, yeah, we'll run with that comp. And other than that, I think we're good. Let me just double check the Paladin. Wouldn't want to miss something and suffer for it. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Other than that, I think we're good. So, let's see how this one goes.